you. Thank you for having me tonight. Hello, you guys. Welcome you all once again to hear you know. It's here you know vlog because at the end of this video, you're definitely guaranteed to know more about the song than you usually do. So, fasten your seatbelt because we're about to do a very, very poor traditional song. It's your regular host, Chris. And yeah, I get messages from people on songs they want me to dissect, but you have to bear with me because making researches and putting the songs together take a little while. So, the song I'm going to be doing today is a her life song by Flavor Larry Gaga, who is the executive producer, Pino, the rapper from the eastern part of Nigeria, and Teresa Honora. This song was set to be released decades ago. As I delve into the background story of this song, you'll definitely understand it better. But before I delve into it, please check if you've subscribed. If you haven't, please click the subscribe button. That's the only way you can encourage me to dig into these facts and bring them together as a content for you. So please click on the notification bell so you always get a notification whenever I drop a new content. So let's get into this song. This song, like I said, was released three or four decades ago. That's to say 30 or 40 years ago. And the title of this song is Egedege. And somehow the word Ijele tend to be mentioned all through the duration of this song. And to break down what Egedege and Ijele means, let me start by telling you what Egedege means. Egedege is a royal cultural traditional dance from centuries ago. And it's of the eastern region of Nigeria, they've got a detailed costume that makes them outstanding, notable, and they take pride in their steps, their stunts, and how they choreograph this Igbo Ekedege dance. So this song is a song of Teresa Onora calling on people to join her on her Ekedege dance, or she might probably be telling everyone when it comes to this dance, she's the best dancer. So if you think you can beat her, step on the dance floor. So it might connote one of these two. So Ijele is the king of mass masquerade of the same eastern region from way back centuries. So every community and town have their own Ijele, but Ijele is a word used to refer to the king of all masquerade. The modern day civilization of the society has made Ijele to be seen more as a strong powerful person, normally ordained by the traditional chiefs for the good and powerful role they've contributed to a society. And Flavor who is on this song happens to be a good example. For his title name, Ijele one of Africa and this probably might entail the biggest masquerade in the scene of high life music in Africa. And not just that, he has used his music to help the society in many ways. So yeah, Ijele, like I said earlier on, is a festival that the eastern region, specifically the Igbos, celebrates probably annually. It has an exhibition of other colorful masquerades, engaging the crowds in entertainment at its traditional best. Pet Edoshe is a legend and a prominent actor from the Nollywood Guide of Actors. So he came and introduced the intro of the song, which actually translates as Anyone who is in love with Igbo culture and tradition should please listen and enjoy this song. And not just only that, they should dance because it's a song of merriment and jollification. So let's get into the body of the song as the song opened up with Teresa Noha singing the chorus. <laughs> Remember I told you earlier, Ijele is a festival. So the reason Nora here is reminding and asking the crowd that the modern Ijele festival, which celebrates the most prominent and most powerful in the society, is fast approaching. Then asking the crowd who is ready to step into the dance stage with her for a dance. The next line went on to say. <laughs> To understand what Teresa Honora was implying here, you have to understand that back in the days, Teresa was a very famous singer and she was known for her traditional Igbo folklore songs. She mentioned her name in this line. Her family, she's the one asking if there's anyone willing to step out to the center stage with her for a dance. Probably she's asking if anyone wants to compete with her or if anyone wants to join her on the dance floor. Hey!
So this is a proverb which goes as an exaltation towards a prominent person or a helpful person in the society. And it translates as someone who you can use their name, even in their absence, you can use their name or image as an access to get a free passage to a foreign land or to any place whatsoever. So this line implies that Teresa knows those kind of people and she is trying to tell those people that the Ijele festival is at hand and who's going to dance with her? The question still beckons. As the chorus faded out, she affirmed that she's the one singing. It's her song and she'll be performing also at that center stage. So who's going to dance with her should affirm and come out to join her. And after that chorus, Levo followed up with his verse 1 by asking the same question in a more subtle way. And he started with... <laughs> So this is Flavor referring to probably some Gen Z's and he was telling them you're busy fronting and killing yourself. But there was a response there when he said Achoramima. This translators, he doesn't care what those Gen Z's or beautiful girls are up to. And he's implying here that all he wants to see those beautiful girls do is dance and marry. They should have merriment. That's all he cares for. He cares less about their fronting or what they do to look good or how they're feeling themselves. Because in an Ijeli festival, you need energy. You need to run when the masquerade chase you. You need to laugh when you have to laugh. The last thing you need to be looking out for is your look. So that's why Flavor was saying he cares less. And the next line went on to say, Ochongo Noko. This translates as someone who prioritizes a secondary task at the expense or in place of the most important task. Or someone who intentionally searches for something at the wrong place. So Flavor was still referring to these people who are probably seated, Instagramming, Snapchatting instead of getting into the mix to enjoy the festival. So Flavor is trying to say they should prioritize getting into the mix and inhaling just to exhale the same energy that is being passed on them. After that, so Flavor was taking a jab at these girls. He was saying all they do is just walk up and down. They are not getting into the mix of what the festivity entails. Probably some of these girls are thinking they are on a fashion parade where they just have to sit down, care about their looks. Flavor is trying to tell them no, you're not on a fashion parade show. This is an Ijele festival. So bring your energy on and stop parambulating cluelessly. And that next line that says is an Igbo word play and it means if you're ignorant of what to do or if you're ignorant on how to join the mix, you should walk to someone who's called Ima. And Ima here means someone who's got an accurate details or idea about whatever they do. So in this case, Flavor was trying to say, if you lack knowledge on how you have to enjoy in this Ijeli festival. Look out for any Ima you know around you. Like I already explained what Ima means. Engage into whatever they are doing. Follow their steps and gradually, definitely, you will be an Ima yourself. So that's what he meant with that line. <laughs> So this is Flavor saying him as Flavor is going to join Teresa Nora in the dance floor. As I told you earlier, he is also called Ijele by name. The next line invited Fino, who is also a rapper. So Flavor is trying to say that Fino is also joining him to meet Teresa for them to add energy to this festival. And after that, Flavor finishes his own verse by telling Teresa Nora to get into action with her dance step as they join her. Flavor also already reckoned that it's going to be an explosive show or display and that's what Iyewe Jewe Mewe means. So Pino came in with his rap and he said This is Fino saying if you're inviting him for any of your ceremony or function you should make sure Omonwa which translates as beautiful girls will be present there and not only the girls being present there you as the host would have given these girls the orientation that they are there just to entertain Fino and his entourage and continue saying in the next line when you invite him to your function be sure you're reserving probably a VIP table for him and make sure the luxury drink him and his men will drink are present on that table <laughs> Yeah. 
First, I will explain what hanging men mean in Igbo. So it's metaphorically driven. It means if you come short of the standard required of you, you're definitely going to get a coin of same value in return. So if you know what's sending an alarm to any host who is about to invite him, that if they hang men, he's not going to honor the invitation. And peradventure, if he's already there to notice that you didn't meet up to the requirements, he desires of you. He definitely won't financially pay homage or give to you. Aza here means bank account. As it also implies, he won't make any transfer to your bank account for you to get an alert. Or he won't reward you with cash of pounds, which in Nigeria has a very high exchange rate. This means Fino might be petty to only give to you with less valuable denomination. <laughs> So yeah, Fino engaged the lay sinners with the pre-hope. When he emphasized his attention to a lady, he went on to tell this lady, you should ignore whatever rumors you were told. As he still gives this beautiful lady attention and also plea with this lady to rock him with her waist. And after that, the next line went in with Fino telling this girl, I'm older than you when it comes to age. But here, yeah, this is not what he's implying. He's trying to tell the girl that he's got more experience in this egedege dance. Probably him bragging that when he started dancing egedege, this probably Gen Z girl wasn't yet born. So who knows, maybe the girl is trying to challenge him on this egedege dance. As the next line rolled in, which Fino saying that the girl is flossing because Fino is declaring his interest as he moves into the girl more and more. And the next line highlighted it more when Fino said that the girl ignored him when he called for her attention. Probably this bruised Fino ego as the next line got Fino saying the girl should tell him what's likely to be the cause for the red flag. That inquiry was going on when Teresa came in with the chorus again. And like I said, the chorus means Teresa asking who's going to join her on the dance floor or who's going to compete with her on the dance floor. <laughs> And what Flavor was saying here was actually referring to everyone who's come to this festivity to join this dance the way the intensity of the song is appreciating every second. So he went on to say, Now, Baromia, which actually means dance, wine for me. And the other line that followed was, Neturumi, which means dance for me in a traditional way. Now, Baromia, which also means dance for me. Yawaramia means shake it up and down. So the best translation we could use for this is, Wiggle it, twerk it. Kwashashi way is like unbox it. Like when you go to the market and buy something, they will say Kwashasia Iji Bataya, which means unbox what you bought in the groceries. Maybe Flavor is trying to tell these girls to unbox or lose their uptightness here and get into the flow. Chisaram here. This means Flavor telling these beautiful girls to open up. And the question mark is open what? Maybe their mindset or their legs. <laughs> Flavor will be the person to answer this one. Next line says Chashashi way, which means open. So, that being said, Flavor went on to also exclamate that he's got a handful of maybe ladies or explosive ambience. That's what this line implies. The next line will tell us specifically more of what he meant with this line. The next line was saying... <laughs> it's a proverb Flavor used to connote. Wherever it turns around to, in that festivity, it's full of beautiful ladies. To make it vividly clear, he meant ladies on the previous line, where he was saying he's got a handful. He emphasized on a particular good dancer, on how she has got a handful of what he as flavor can't handle. Probably the girl was throwing her body on flavor in a way he couldn't match. The energy is what flavor couldn't match with. And flavor also could not dare that the girl is royal, that the girl is out to destroy him or hurt him you know that's metaphorically so flavor beware that's all i can say the next line came in and it says and to understand this i need to break it down in a simplified form in Igbo land there are people that are said to be ocha komaka so this means that these girls are beautiful just for their fair complexion because the society believes every fair girl is beautiful but flavor is trying to say here that the girl he is with in this function or festival is fair in complexion but her beauty goes way beyond her 
her complexion she's not just beautiful because of her complexion this is the girl having every shape a beautiful girl should have and that's where fino took stage again to say abo ato ano isi isi asa which is the numerical count in Igbo language and he counted to number seven the next line showed the listeners why he counted because he was using it to represent every day of the week when he said that from monday till sunday they ball and spend money extravagantly he also said that when you see them spending the money you will think they are in a bazaar and what is bazaar bazaar is a fundraiser mostly for the wealthy people so the next line made it precise when fino said that he chills in the bar of probably a lounge and when he's there he looks out for beautiful girls and when he moves into a beautiful girl you know his voice changes like he's got at her which is flu and in africa people tend to associate bars or low register voice to wealth so when a man sounds with a low register or bars, it seems to give people the appeal of rich and wealth. So Fino was trying to say like he's got that kind of voice whenever he's approaching ladies. So after that, Fino repeated what he said in the pre-hook earlier. I've been no one anthology. Like when it comes to age or experience, I've got it more. Happy for Kologi. Just ignore the gossip, the gimmicks. And after that, the chorus came in. So Teresa Ono has surfaced again for the outro and it had her pouring words of exaltation and praises and hype to the people she performed this song with the people that made this song have a life again after more than three decades she released the song so this is a way of saying thank you for bringing her back to the scene as this song will take her to places this song has given her a place on the map a place on the spotlight this song has been brought to life again by flavor larry gaga and fino and as she gave them that accolade which are pretty much one or two things i've explained as the song faded out slowly Lowly to make it a wrap for this song and thank you to everyone who sticked with me till the end of this video this wasn't an easy song to explain because it has a lot of idioms proverbs wordplay metaphors what have you but i want to say thank you if you were patient enough to be here till the end if you've not subscribed please endeavor to subscribe i beg and if you have and enjoyed this content smash the like button and don't forget to look out if you've clicked on the notification bell if you've not please do so you can always get a notification whenever I drop a new content. That being said, love yourself because you deserve every genuine love. And that starts with you. And give love to the universe. It has its way of paying back. Love you all. See you on the next video. Peace. Ciao.